हेलो हाय गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फिर माय चैनल हाय मैं कांक्षा आई लुक वेरी स्लीपी आई नो बट आई डोंट नो व्हाई इट्स लाइक थ्री इन द आफ्टरनून बट आई स्टिल हैव दिस पूफी आईज दे नॉट गोइंग अवे बट एनीवेज हेलो हाय वेलकम टू माय चैनल इफ यू रेड द थाइटल ऑलरेडी यू नो व्हाट वी आर डूइंग टुडे सो इन टुडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डू अ ब्यूटीफुल ब्यूटीफुल पार्टी लुक एंड वी हैव डन अ लॉट ऑफ स्मोकी आईज इन दिस चैनल वी हैव डन black smoky eye i've done pink i've done brown i've done everything but today i thought it's fun to just sit down and do makeup something glam something neutral but something fun and easy because it's holiday season and christmas new year everything is here and you can rock this look on any outfit so all the products i'm going to use are right in front of me and all these products are available on amazon so you can shop from these all the links will be provided in the description box um that being said let's get started and dive into the video let's start off with eyes i know i always start off with the base but i always suggest you guys to start off with eyes especially if you're a beginner so today you kind of can get ready with me because i'm doing eyes first i just feel like it today because i honestly don't know what look on the eyes i'm going to do so if it if i kind of mess up i can remove it without ruining my entire base So using the next micro brow brow pencil and this is the shade espresso you know the drill we don't do a lot to the eye we just comb through it and fill in the starting my brows have outgrown so much really need to prim them so amazon's end of season sale has started 23rd december so you can shop on amazing offers or next before going in with eyeshadow i'm just going to carve out my brow a little bit and for that i'm using a concealer i'm using the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear concealer and i'm in the shade 314 also this is the second time i'm doing this video because i did a completely look different look yesterday and my stupid mic was not plugged in properly like how bad is my face like <laughs> so today i'm refilming it again and i want to i did not want to like repeat the same look because i will get bored doing it again so i'm planning on just flinging a look whatever comes in mind i mean i do have something in mind but let's see so first up i'm going in with the debora milano eye shadow palette this is the smoky eye palette I'm going to take the center shade and pack it on the lid just going to add it from the i'll leave like one fourth part in the starting and one fourth part in the ending and i'll pat it on the rest of it going to top it off with this lighter shade as well just to add that more you know oomph or what do you call that i'm not getting the word at the moment but just going to tap 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 tip 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 parsa pani tip 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 so next i want to add something on the crease but i don't want it to be like too much i want to be very soft and subtle i can use an eye shadow but i don't have a eye shadow which kind of immediately matches the tone so i want to use a bronzer instead so i'm using the debora milano um, um bronzer again so this is how it looks it's a three pan bronzer it has like two different shades here so i'm going to mix these two shades and i'm going to go ahead and add that in the ending and i'm just going to blow out the edges i'm going to mix it and drag it towards my brow area next i'm going in with the same shades but now i'm just taking a tinier brush and i want to like kind of define this area next i'm going to take a tinier brush and i'm going to go in with lightest shade on the palette which is this shade and i'm going to add that in the inner crease we go we can amp it up more with highlighter later but for now i just want to add that dimension in that area which is highlighting the inner corner see simple and easy very neutral very minimal but also 
that Shimu makes it more glam. At this point, if you're you're a glitter fan, you can definitely do so. But I'm I'm keeping it as minimal but super glam as well. So you like glitter, you can definitely go ahead and add tons of glitter at this point on the eye. It looks stunning. Next, I'm going in with the Rene Holistic Kajal, and I'm going to tight line my waterline and add a teeny tiny like wing as well. Don't overdo it. You have to be very very careful. Or like the thick liner can make a lot of difference and it will not look as sexy and glam as well it kind of can end up looking very like old school very like indian also in a way so just be careful on how much you use i'm just going to go ahead and add it in the ending that's it i'm then going to just go ahead and tight line the lash line Tight lining is like the best way to add liner without actually lining it. Kind of gives that definition to the eye, but it does not look as thick as liner. You can see the difference. I hope you can see the difference. I can see it in the mirror. Like this side versus this side. I just tight lined this side and this side I didn't. So, you know, there is that visible difference. So I'm just going to add it on the top a little bit. Now, next I'm going to go ahead and take this charcoal black, charcoal gray kind of shade and i'm going to go ahead and blend that kajal and smoke it out we want it to be smoky okay i don't like harsh lines i do not like harsh lines you do not tell me what to do or what are you gonna hit me we'll end it i'm going to pull that out as a wing as well <laughs> Again, little goes a really long way. Work in tiny, tiny steps, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to leave the eyes here. There's a little more we need to do, but let's switch on to the base and then we'll come back to the eyes. So for the base first, you can see I've like broken out a lot since I've come here. So I have like, you know, discoloration and acne scars here and there. And this and this is kind of prominent and it's not getting hidden away even with like foundation. So I want to color correct it a little bit today. So I don't usually have color correctors because I don't like, you know, use them very frequently. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this this uh, Rene Lip and Cheek Tint in Red Romance because it's that bright uh, red orangish color. It will kind of help to color correct the, you know, marks. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that just where I need it. Like I just want to do it here and in this area. So make sure your color corrector is always blended as much as you can because you don't want it to be like a what do you say a very pigmented area because again it will not get covered with foundation it just has to be like a very thin layer which kind of just cancels out the um, discoloration you know so that is how it looks i know it does not look really good now but just trust the process so next i'm going to go in with foundation and can you guess the foundation i am going to use just guess you know Yes. You do not tell me what to do. What else? I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Foundation and I am in the shade 310. I love this foundation. I've used this so many different times. I love the consistency. I love long how long lasting it is. It does not make me oily throughout the day. If you want a little more full coverage one, you can definitely go in with this Maybelline Superstay one. And if you have oily skin as well, but this is good for all skin types and I want the finish this gives today more than the full full coverage one i'm going to go ahead and add it on my cheek nice thin layer of foundation you don't want to go overboard especially because if it's new year eve you're going to dance around you're going to move you don't want to sweat and you don't want to like you know become too greasy go with light layers and build it up with like multiple things don't just go heavy handed and something which is like super dewy in effect or something because especially if you have oily skin you are going to look as cakey and color correct if you think you need more see because if i did not do that i would have needed to add like so much more in this area so just like color correcting it and going on with the foundation made me like be done with like a thin nice layer of foundation and i love how 
it looks so moving on to concealer i'm going to go ahead and add the same l'oreal concealer which i used on the eye this is again a very full coverage concealer so little goes a really long uh, way so i'm going to let that sit for some time just so that i get a little more uh, coverage but meanwhile let's go in with my uh, blush and again can you guess the blush i'm going to use this is one of my favorites this is the daughter earth lip and cheek tint and i'm in i'm using the shade coral nude it's a stunning stunning lip and cheek tint nothing like it i mean the rainy one which i used is beautiful as well which i use for color correcting but that shade i just don't want to like use for this look so the, hence i'm like you know going in with this one i'm going to slightly add it on the high points of the cheek this is like the third time i'm sitting and filming since i've come here and it just feels like so new i miss my studio so much oh my god i had everything i needed in that and here to like to set up everything i've bought a lot of things for me to like you know sit down and conveniently uh film but you know that was my comfort place i miss my studio so much i miss all the products i have so much especially here i have such limited products because you know i cannot of course carry like my entire vanity and travel so but yeah look how beautiful that color is i mean stunning this one and glacial nude are my favorite favorite colors next to set my face i'm going in with the maybelline fit me loose powder it i'm in the shade light medium previously i used to use the shade medium and i used to use like it for the entire face but like it used to be a little too dark for my under eye and i like my under eyes to be a little more you know brightening so i'm used light medium uh, now and i'm just going to take that and make sure i'm setting it without any creases so this color is a little too light on the entire face but uh, like i can kind of manage the rest of the face with this because i you know go in with bronzer and blush and so it does not look as a light but for my under eyes it becomes too dark if i use medium so hence i'm like you know using light medium next for bronzer i'm using the wet n wild mega glow contour palette love this one it's so affordable and it just melts into the skin can you see like i don't even have to do any work like i once i tap it it just blends into the skin so so well it's beautiful see it just adds that color is so stunning if you're medium skin tone indian medium skin tone this bronzer is a must it's so affordable and so damn beautiful next for blush i'm going in with the makeup revolution reloaded blusher in the shade coral dream it's a beautiful warm shade it's very pigmented so it will goes a really long way i'm going to go very light handed because i don't want to look as warm but i want to have a little color on the face Next for highlighter I'm going in with the Maybelline Master Chrome highlighter in the shade Molten Gold. If you want to shine, you got to buy this. I thought I'll try to rhyme it. If you go if you want to shine, you want to you want to Maybelline <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you have to use this one. It's a beautiful uh, one. It's properly shimmer. It's not a glittery, glittery kind of highlighter. It just blends into your skin and gives such a nice finish. So I'm taking this. It kind of suits most of the Indian skin tones as well. I'm going to hit the high points of my face. I mean, what can we say? Look at that glow. Whoever tells you to highlight the tip of the nose, ignore them. It's just going to look greasy and make your nose tip look so much bigger than what it is. Just do this bone, and it just like you know will give you definition. You don't have to do this. Keep it as matte as possible because eventually, anyway, is going to get oily. So don't touch this area. You can just add highlighter here and be done. 
okay moving back to eyes i'm going to go ahead and take the same bronzer and add it on the lower lash line as well so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in back with the same um, shimmery shades i added on my lid and i'm going to add them on the lower lash line and again on the top lash line just to like highlight them a little more on the lower lash line if you want a lighter shade you can go in with your highlighter which i'm going to do right now i'm just going to add it in the center a little on the bottom and the top lash so i'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of lip liner and for lip liner i'm going in with the wet n wild beauty lip liner in the shade chestnut you can see how much this is loved <laughs> Ever since I tried this hack, so there's one of this video where I've tried like famous TikTok hacks or viral hacks, and there I've tried this hack where you do this and you line your lips, and I loved it so much. It was such a beautiful one. Since then, that's how I line my lips. It makes such a different. Everything looks so much more uniform and plump for some reason, and I love it. It just makes the job also so much more easier. I'll link the video here if you've not checked that one out. So Amazon has this new cool feature where you can virtually try on any different lipsticks and choose the color you like. But today I'm going in with the Kiro Beauty nude lipstick. I love this collection range. It's so beautiful, man. I mean, the entire beautiful range of nudes is amazing. So I'm going in with this lipstick and I'm going in the shade Cinnamon Nude. Next for mascara, I'm going in with the Royal Lash Paradise Mascara. that's about it for this makeup look i love how it looks especially that center highlighter on the lower lash line i feel is making a lot of difference you should definitely try this if you've never done this it just like make something pretty basic pretty amazing and it does not take a lot of effort you just have to like pick a highlighter and dab it there it looks so beautiful so yeah that's it for the look again all the products i've used will be linked in the description box and they're available on amazing discounts on amazon i hope you really liked the video i hope you learned something and i hope you'll recreate this and send me pictures and happy new year happy christmas to all you guys and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in another video. Bye.